Hi, so our next topic is headache. We already finished our uh, Shiro Rogas, right? So Shiro Rogas and Kabbala Rogas are over. So uh, almost all the Shiro Rogas are, can be compared to different types of headache. So I am taking everything together. As you all know, headache is a vast topic and it's a common topic. Uh, so I am dividing it into three parts uh, for your better understanding and also um, I'm not going deep into this disease I'm just giving a um, a superficial idea what is a headache and what all are the causes for headache so uh, in the first uh, part I'm giving just an introduction about headache what is a headache and uh, uh, how many types of headaches are there and in which all condition we can see there and uh, how you have to do clinical evaluation if you are getting a patient with headache so headache headache is among the most common reason patient sees when it's get attention that you also know right uh, a lot of people will come and ask you i'm having severe headache um, even in a in a day you will get two three uh, patients with headache so it's a, a common condition headache is a common condition so you all are familiar uh, with that one so headache is among the most common reason patients see medical attention and diagnosis and management is based on a careful clinical approach augmented by an understanding of anatomy, physiology and pharmacology of the nervous system pathway that mediate the various headache syndrome. So for diagnosing the headache properly, you should know for all disease, this is important, but for headache, they are telling it specifically. Diagnosis and management is based on a careful clinical approach augmented by an understanding of the anatomy, physiology and pharmacology of the nervous system pathways that mediate the various headache syndrome. So you have to know the anatomy and physiology of the nervous pathway also uh, which will cause the headache so uh, um, these are the receptors and sensory ganglion and center these are the uh, pathways different pathways of the uh, nervous pathways uh, so next comes the classification uh, classification uh, the classification system developed by the International Headache Society characteristics headache as uh, primary or secondary so there is primary headache and there is secondary headache so from the term itself you can understand primary from the primary cause that's primary headache and from the secondary cause if you are getting headache that is a secondary headache primary headaches are those in which headache and its associated features are the disorder in itself okay so in primary headache the headache and its associated features are the disorder in itself whereas secondary headaches are those caused by exogenous disorder so in secondary headache what is it's from the outside cause that is exogenous the secondary headache is due to the exogenous disorders and a primary headache often results in considerable disability and a decrease in patient's quality of life so it uh, um, the, if the patient is getting a uh, primary headache means it will result in a considerable disability and that means a decrease in the patient's quality of life the quality of life of the patient will be affected in the primary headache and mild secondary headache such as that seen in association with upper respiratory tract infection is common but rarely varies worrisome that means mild secondary headache there is a mild um, radiating pain like thing uh, it, it may come associated with the upper respiratory tract infection that is um, it's a common uh, headache but it's uh, rarely worrisome so it won't affect that much the quality of a life so primary headache will affect the patient's quality of life and mild secondary headache won't uh, affect that much and life threatening headache is relatively uncommon but vigilance is required in order to recognize and appropriately treat such patients so um, life threatening headaches are also present so life threatening headache means that will cause severe 
uh, it will cause uh, life uh, um, can leads to death right so life threatening headache is also there so that uh, we have to give that much importance to a headache and we have to uh, diagnose it properly uh, differential diagnosis is important in case of headache whether there is a mild um, uh, chronic uh, daily headache or it is due to a severe cause inside that we have to understand before treatment so there are different types of headache so we have to uh, diagnose from these types which uh, the, our patient is having that is the most important thing so um, these are about a uh, primary classification classification is mainly in the primary and secondary and primary headache is uh, uh, the disorder is itself it's because of the causes itself and secondary headache is from the exogenous disorders and uh, the in primary uh, headache the quality of life is affected and in uh, secondary headache um, it may be associated with the upper respiratory tract infection and uh, uh, that's not less worrisome but there is um, life threatening headaches also so we have to um, first um, if a patient comes to you have to uh, first uh, have to do differential diagnosis from the classification of this headaches only so next comes uh, ah, this is the table showing the primary the causes of primary and the secondary headache these are uh, primary headaches that is tension time headache that is more that is 69 percentage migraine headache that is 16 percentage idiopathic stabbing that is two percentage and exertional headache that comes in the primary headache and uh, last one is cluster headache so these are the type of primary headache and the secondary type are from some systemic infection you will get a headache from the head injury that is, um, is more severe right head injury or due to vascular disorders or subarachnoid hemorrhage or due to brain tumor that is very less um, uh, chance but then also there is a chance okay so secondary uh, headache is uh, can be caused by systemic infections headache vascular disorders subarachnoid hemorrhage brain tumor and the primary headache may be uh, the types are tension type migraine idiopathic stabbing exertional and cluster type so this is the sub classification of the primary headache and the secondary he headache so these are the um, classification of headache so primary and secondary in primary comes the tension type migraine idiopathic exertional cluster and in secondary types come systemic infections head injury vascular disorders subarachnoid hemorrhage and brain tumor so next comes the pathology of a headache uh, so pain usually occurs when peripheral nociceptors are stimulated in response to tissue injury visceral distension or other factors so here the pain usually occurs when the peripheral nociceptors nociceptors means these are the nociceptors that nociceptors means pain receptors so everywhere pain receptors will be present so here it uh, usually occurs when the peripheral nosy receptors are stimulated in response to any tissue injury visceral distension or other factors so that can cause um, he headache because the pain pain is received so um, pain usually occurs when the peripheral nociceptors that means the pain receptors in the periphery means in the uh, ends are stimulated in response to any because of the any of the tissue injury or because of the distension of the viscera organs uh, if the um, peripheral um, pain receptors are getting stimulated then we will get pain or in such situation pain perception is a normal physiological response you all know if you get a hurt, if you get hurt also you will get that pain right so that's a normal physiological response mediated by a healthy nervous system and the other reason are pain can also result when the pain producing pathways of the peripheral or central nervous system are damaged or activated inappropriately so the second cause is the pain uh, can also be result from the pain producing pathways pain producing pathways are there peripheral and both in peripheral and central nervous system if that is getting damaged or activated inappropriately activated not in a proper way in, inappropriately if it is getting that pathway is getting um, stimulated then also we will get a pain so these are the two reasons for pain so one is due to any injury or due to the distension of the viscera the pain 
brain receptors, peripheral brain receptors or nociceptors is getting stimulated and we are getting pain or the second reason is where if uh, the pathway of the peripheral or central nervous system is getting uh, damaged or activated inappropriately then also we will get pain. So headache may originate from either or both the mechanism. It can happen by either or a, um, either any one of this or by both the mechanisms. Relatively few cranial structures are pain producing. So uh, these cranial structures uh, inside the skull that is uh, brain structures are pain producing that includes scalp you all know right scalp then uh, middle uh, meningeal artery so meningeal artery that also middle meningeal artery dural sinuses dural sinuses means they are they are also known as uh, dural venous sinus or uh, cerebral sinus or cranial sinuses and uh, those are venal uh, venous channels uh, present between end osteal that is bone uh, and meningeal layers of the dura mater so that is a sinus that is a space okay so that is dural sinus that is between uh, endosteal and meningeal layer of dura mater um, that space um, that can also cause pain that is also pain producing cranial structure and uh, false cerebri false cerebri is also known as cerebral false uh, it is nothing but uh, but in between the cerebral hemispheres there is a vertical fold of meningeal uh, layer of dura mater meningeal layer of dura mater is seen between the fold both the between the both cerebral hemispheres between the hemispheres there will be a uh, meningeal layer of dura mater which which will go vertically inside that is known as false uh, cerebri or cerebral fa um, cerebral falls and uh, proximal segments of the large pile artery pile arteries are nothing but it is intracranial vessel uh, vessel only artery seen on the surface of the brain and um, this is surrounded by the uh, cerebro uh, spinal fluids also uh, so they are uh, cranial structures which produce pain so these are the uh, causes for uh, headache so first one is uh, the main two causes for uh, headaches are uh, due to the peripheral uh, nociceptors that is uh, due to the injury or uh, any distension of the organ there will be uh, stimulation of the nociceptors or brain receptors and that will cause headache or uh, it may be due to the any damage in the um, CNS or peripheral uh, or uh, peripheral uh, nervous system pathway uh, is damaged or uh, it can may be uh, stimulated inappropriately these two will cause headache and uh, main uh, pain producing structures in the uh, cranium or brain are um, scalp uh, in the head are scalp meningeal middle meningeal artery dural sinus falls or brain proximal segments of the large pile arteries etc uh, so uh, that is a pathology and next comes the clinical evaluation of acute or new onset at, uh, headache so we told uh, that will be a uh, severe um, compared to the recurrent headache so uh, how to evaluate uh, at acute or new onset headache so in that first one is the patient who presents with a new severe headache has a differential diagnosis that is quite different from the patient with their recurrent headaches over many years so it is like um, a patient who presents with a new or a severe headache suddenly a patient is getting a day the differential diagnosis is different from a patient having a recurrent headache and uh, in new onset and severe headache the probability of finding a potentially serious cause is considerably greater than in recurrent headache so here in the new or acute onset the probability of finding a potentially serious cause is considerably more is greater than that uh, in a recurrent uh, headache so uh, sudden onset of a new headache is more severe than a recurrent headache and patients with a recent onset of pain require prompt evaluation and appropriate treatment so with a recent onset uh, we have to give more care to that patient because that, that situation is severe compared to a recurrent headache so that's the first point so we have to ask the take the history from when it is starting and uh, when the onset is and how the severity is and uh, that is different from a recurrent headache 
and serious causes to be considered include meningitis, subarachnoid hemorrhage, epidural or subdural hematoma, glaucoma, tumor and purulent sinusitis. So these may be the reason for an acute non new onset of an headache. Meningitis, uh, subarachnoid hemorrhage, subepidural or a subdural hematoma, glaucoma, tumor and purulent sinusitis. And next comes uh, when worrisome symptoms and signs are present, rapid diagnosis and management is critical. So, when this uh, um, um, alarming uh, symptoms and signs are there, then we have to suddenly go for the diagnosis and then immediately go for the treatment. So, a complete neurologic examination is an essential first step in the evaluation. So, the first step is complete neurological examination. In most cases, patient with an abnormal, abnormal examination or a history of recent onset headache should be evaluated by a CT or MRI scan. So, we can send the patient uh, to CT or MRI at first as an initial screening procedure for intracranial procedure pathology in this setting CT and MRI methods appears to be equally sensitive. So, we can send the patient for CT and MRI. In some circumstances a lumbar puncture is also required for meningitis and all we have to uh, check uh, the CSF right so for that we have to do lumbar puncture unless a benign etiology can be otherwise established no so uh, from this what we understood is acute and a new onset is more severe than the recurrent more um, more alarming than the recurrent headache and the first step uh, to evaluate first we have to uh, suddenly go for the diagnosis and uh, management and in that the first step is to um, go for a neurological uh, neurologic examination uh, via uh, ct and mri scan a general evaluation of acute headache might include the investigation of cardiovascular and renal status by blood pressure monitoring and urine examination. So, first step, uh, next, the general evaluation can be done. So, general system evaluation you have to do in that first one is CV, uh, cardiovascular system and renal uh, status. Renal examination can be done by blood pressure monitoring and by urine examination. Eyes, eyes by fundoscopy, intraocular pressure and refraction. So, fundoscopy we can do, intraocular pressure, IOP should be checked and we have to do the refraction test also. The eye power we have to check, cranial arteries by palpation. The arteries can be palpated, cranial arteries can be palpated and cervical spine by the effect of passive movement of the head by and by imagining. So, these are the general evaluations. So, for CVS, you have to check uh, cardiovascular system, blood pressure can be monitored, renal urinary system by urine examination, eye by fundoscope, IOP and refraction can be done and cranial arteries by palpation and a cervical spine by the head movement and also imagining techniques like CT, MRI and all we can do. So, these are the steps for general evaluation. And next one is the, so we had uh, neurological examination we did, general examination we did. Next is psychological. Psychological state of the patient should also be evaluated since a relationship exists between the head pain and depression. So we have to do psychological examination also. Many patients in chronic daily pain cycles become depressed. Although depression itself is rarely a cause of headache. So, many patients with chronic daily pain cycles become depressed. So, uh, we have to check the psychology of a patient also. So, drugs with antidepressant actions are also effective in the prophylactic treatment of both tension type headache and in migraine. So, in tension type headache and in migraine which are the primary headache which comes under primary headache if you uh, will give antidepressant drugs to those patient it will have an effect. So, uh, that also we can't um, neglect the psychological factor is also there. So, that also we have to do uh, while check, uh, doing the clinical evaluation. So, that is about the clinical evaluation. So, I thought um, you, you got a 
general idea about headache what is headache and the classification pathology and uh, then clinical evaluation of a uh, acute and uh, new onset headache so these are things we have to see uh, so hope you all understood uh, till now next we will go uh, to each uh, one separately thank you